Everyone loves the courageous baby Dawson, don't they? With a tale of newborn triplet doys, doubling down with the Derricos has been taking viewers on an emotional journey. Karen and Dion are dealing with a new issue as they struggle to maintain their strength while awesome Dawson has heart surgery. The youngest member of the Derricos family, doubling down, will now have to wear a helmet. With 14 children, Karen, 40, and Dion, 49, are the prominent Las Vegas family featured on TLC's Doubling Down with the Derricos. The couple, who in the first episode of the reality show had 11 children total, two singles, twins, quintuplets, and twins, recently welcomed triplets. Karen and Dion were anxious about the upcoming arrivals because they had lost a baby from their previous batch of triplets. When an earthquake caused Karen to go into preterm labor, she gave birth to Doazen, DRN, and Diver at just 28 weeks, fulfilling their worst nightmare. Ventricular ventricular septal defect, or VSD, is a congenital abnormality that causes a hole in Dawson's heart. Dawson remained in the hospital for more than seven months in order to gain weight and have surgery, while the other little Derricos eagerly anticipated meeting their sister. In addition to awesome Dawson, the heart baby, undergoing yet another major treatment in the most recent episode of Doubling Down with the Derricos, Karen and Dion also had to deal with the frightening possibility of positional plagiocephaly, or flathead. In a TLC video, Dion and Karen can be seen psychologically getting ready for Dawson's open-heart surgery, since she will need to stay in the hospital for an additional two weeks. However, the Derricos disclosed that the triplet baby's flat head grew as a result of spending so much time on her back while in the NICU after birth. For a helmet fitting, Dawson's parents take her to Dr. Brittany Stryker, a qualified orthotist. Thus, we must now put on and remove the helmet in specific ways. Every now and then, we have to make adjustments, says Dean, a real estate investor. Dean acknowledges that Dawson has been very different from the other 13 Derrico children in every way, but he also says that it has been challenging to follow through with the helmet. According to Dr. Stryker, babies who have heart surgery in the hospital spend a lot of time recovering lying on their backs. This can make things worse, she continues, especially with such a fluid head at this point. Her personalized hashtag hashtag awesomedawaysen, along with lots of love and lots of hearts, is emblazoned on the infant's helmet. Increasing by two due to Dawson's operation, supporters of the Derricos have been witnessing rifts form in Karen and Dean's relationship. First, Dion says he doesn't want to be at the hospital because he fears getting attached, especially after he lost Carter. But with his mother Gigi guiding them, the Derrico parents ultimately act in Dawson's best interest by supporting her through her trying times. Fans of TLC have been praying for Dawson's health. And if there's anything to go by from Karen's Instagram, it's that baby Dawson is recovering well from her surgery and is back at home.